The Honolulu Symphony Society has until October 15th to file its bankruptcy reorganization plan. But some donors and longtime season ticket holders lost hundreds of dollars to canceled concerts. And they told KITV 4's Jody Leong they may not be around to support a new symphony. Jody? Lauren Paula's season ticket holders had the option of filing a claim with a bankruptcy court or writing off the cost of the ticket as a donation to the symphony. But loyal supporters say they're loyal no more because of the symphony's treatment of the musicians and their loyal customers. <laughs> When the Honolulu Symphony last performed in October, season ticket holders and donors were looking forward to a successful season. The last concert was great. We had you know, standing ovation. <laughs> the director came out and told us everything was wonderful, that they had enough money to pay the symphony and that everything was great. Several months later, the Honolulu Symphony Society filed for bankruptcy. I was shocked. English professor Elena Mom is one of hundreds of ticket holders who were left holding hundreds of dollars in tickets for canceled concerts. I lost my season money. What happened? You know, we had the money, we didn't have the money. Some ticket holders filed claims with the bankruptcy court to get their money back. There's a claim for $418 and $396. One person submitted copies of a pile of no good tickets. They're in a very tough position. I mean, Bankruptcy attorney Jean Christensen says it is unlikely ticket holders will be fully reimbursed. And they are often described as the great unwashed in a bankruptcy where they are lucky to get pennies on the dollar. Mom is not among the claimants. Mom is disappointed about what she calls a symphony society's lack of transparency and communication with its loyal customers. And she says a reorganized symphony may not get the support it once had. And she says other donors feel the same. They said they're never going to buy symphony tickets again, um, that the symphony society has lost their trust and they feel betrayed. Now, our calls to the symphony society have not been returned for several weeks now. Bankruptcy attorneys for both the symphony and the musicians union could not talk to us about the bankruptcy proceedings. Reporting live, Jody Leon, KITV4 News.